The scare on the St. John's just within the past 20 minutes. This is our first look inside that Boeing 737. In this new video, you can see investigators inside the cockpit of the plane that skidded off the runway at NAS Jacks and into the river. He also reacts to Miami Air. Well, right now, Sky 4 capturing the plane still sitting in the St. John's River 72 hours after making that hard landing. One passenger sharing new details about what it was like to be on that flight. I'm so thankful that, that everyone uh, um, so thankful that everyone survived. Um, I think uh, God certainly had his plan, his hand on the plane. We have, we have more of that video the NTSB released just moments ago showing what investigators have done so far along the St. John's River. Well, here's a shot of investigators standing on the wing. That's how the uh, 143 people on board got off down the wing and into life rafts. Now, here's this video from the exterior of the plane. Well, today, News for Jack spoke to one of the passengers who's still recovering physically and emotionally. He also reacted to Miami Air's apology and the $2,500 stipend it's giving to each person on board as a goodwill gesture. Well, News for Jack's reporter, Lauren Verno, spoke to him and joins us now in our studio. Lauren? Well, hey guys, yeah, I spoke to that passenger almost 72 hours after the plane crash. He was a passenger on the Boeing 787. He says the impact is not only lasting physically, but emotionally. He's Bob Gibson, a Virginia Beach resident. He was on that, that he was a passenger again on that plane when it skidded into the St. John's. We actually caught up with him today while he was recovering from a pre um, existing knee condition. He had knee surgery today. We caught up with him in the hospital. Take a listen. Does this story get any easier to tell? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And, um, um, and, and, and it's, in some, some cases, it's probably worse. Each time you tell it, you kind of relive it. It is going to take time before Bob Gibson can recover from the impact of this crash, both physically. I'm still sore, you know, as somebody would be from, uh, you know, being in a, a very bad car wreck. And emotionally. I'm getting back to normal. I try not to sit and think about the accident. Uh, it's, it's a little tough to just sit and dwell on it, so. I try to think of anything but. But with an ongoing investigation by the NTSB, he says it's impossible not to continually watch the updates come in. Even though I was the first person to alert Gibson that the airline planned on giving each passenger a stipend. I, I guess I'll be the one to let you know. So the airline just announced they're going to give each, each passenger $2,500. What are your thoughts? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, but I'm not sure what that, what that does for me. Uh, you know, $2,500. Um, you know, I, I'm just glad everyone walked off that aircraft. Thankful to be alive today? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Now, Gibson says if there is anything to be learned from this incident, it would be to pay attention to the safety procedures at the beginning of a flight. It may seem redundant at the time, but it could save your life. Guys, I cannot trust that enough to you, how important it is to pay attention because that really did save a lot of lives on this flight, for sure. What specifically happened to him to make him tell people to take this seriously? Yeah, something as little as people were inflating their life vests before they got off the plane. Mm -hmm. So it was really hard to navigate around, as you can imagine, such tight quarters. Also, people weren't wearing their seatbelts. So he actually described moments where people were flying over, landing on other passengers. Wow. So as this aircraft is filling with water, there are people shifting, and it was because they were not wearing something as simple as a seatbelt. Yeah. That's why he says it may be redundant, but pay attention. In the life vest, you really shouldn't inflate them until you're off the plane is what they tell you to do. But if you're not paying attention, <laughs> you might not remember that, especially in a time of panic. Okay. Lauren Verno, thank you so much for that insight. Gosh.